Scorpio, this is all about you. Welcome back to Born Without Boundaries. Thank you so much for your constant support. I'm really grateful. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising sign. Honestly, wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart, you can plug these energies in for the next week or so, whatever. When you f I'm, I'm actually sort of loosening up on the timestamps because people take them too literally and I think it's kind of ruining their experience. So listen, you see it when you need it. That's what I'm going to say. Um, but Scorpio, yeah, um, this is um, an energy reading. So what, how, what, what's the difference between, this isn't a horoscope right? I'm not looking at what houses, uh, what, what planets are influencing your houses. I'm, which means that it doesn't matter is Scorpio, sun, moon rising. It's not specific to uh, a rising sign or a sun sign. These are energies that are effect affecting the scorpionic energies floating around in the ether during this time period. So, um, I do a full Oracle card spread here, and then I'm going to move over to the extended where I do a full tarot spread, which is a deep dive into and a continuation on what we start here, as well as a romance reading as well. We get a little into romance specific over there as well. So Scorpio, I love you guys. Let's go. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Your crowning energy is out. Beautiful, beautiful, neat, and tidy. I'm telling you, there is a coming together. There is a, there is a sense of self about Scorpio energy that has been more chaotic in the past. It's not so chaotic anymore. It's self-possessed and it's self-controlled. There is always enough and let it shine. What did I freaking say? This is, first of all, the energy of Three plus six is nine, and then six plus four is ten. Nine, ten, a succession guiding up to like leading up to things growing, things developing, things maturing, things moving on, coming to a head, and then coming to completion. In other words, you're going to get some sort of resolution, and there is always enough. This is Pisces energy, this is Pisces season. Swimming in always enough emotion, always enough passion, always enough fervor, always enough, always enough certainty. You are feeling completely at home in this energy. And then there is your card. Let it shine. Let your voice be heard. Let it out. Be exactly who you are and who you need to be. But also being able to put it like focus, like focus your energy, focus your attention and figure out what's most important to you. It's not about other people. Mm -mm. It is about you figuring out where you want to put your attention, your energy, and where you want to put your emotions. And that's the kind of, hmm, those are the little deets that we're going to get into. This energy of Scorpio, you being able to finally figure out where you want to focus your emotions. I did get um, a prediction in um, the romantic tarot of something waning and something fading. So this could very well be, and that was romance. So this is not romance specific. This is you being able to see what serves you and what doesn't serve you. You be, what did I say? As soon as the cards came out, I was like very clear. Something is very clear here. There's been clarification. You've clarified things. Burned it all down. If you watch last week's video, maybe I'll attach it above head. Um, if you look above, you can see that. But there is a sense of you burned it all down and now guess what? You can see for miles because there is no brush or bushes or trees to get in your way. There ain't nothing but ashes. But you know what? You're happy with that. Why? Because it's like clarity. Clarity and freshness. New start, new beginning. That's what's coming in. And this could be all happening within you because we are in Pisces season. So it doesn't necessarily have to be external yet, right? A lot of things, especially during a retrograde, aren't really good to put them into play during a retrograde. But internally and emotionally, you are using this. This is a great way to utilize this energy and this time. Like the cosmos and the ether swirling around now is all saying, look within and get that tidied up and, and get that completed. And then you'll be able to focus your energy in the direction that you want to go, seeing very clearly. And right now I'm getting this feeling that 
it's becoming more and more clear, more and more clear and less, less worrisome to commit yourself to a specific direction and focus emotionally. So this does have something to do with where your heart space has been, where your emotions have been. Um, they could have been all over the place and now they're finally clearing up a sense of finally, um, feeling, feeling, um, not necessarily a peacefulness, but a, a, a focus. I was going to say fluency, a purpose, but it's a focus a hundred percent. If I could underline that word a thousand times, it was, it's focus. You're, you're finding your focus. Um, this and that are true. This is the in-between remaining playful like this Scorpio. This is your water sign, but flapping around and feeling oh so good at times when other people don't feel so good. Why? Because this is not heaviness to you. You can handle the emotion of this period. You can handle the memories of this period. You have, you, you've taken stock of those memories forever. You know exactly where they are. This is not a, a period of time that makes you feel uncomfortable. You're all like tiptoeing through the daisies, skipping and hopping through I'm not saying it's not an emotional time for you, but this, you are handling it like a pro, like a dolphin skips over waves. You are handling it like a pro and you're coming to the surface. It's, it's less bogged down and heavy than it is. You're finally surfacing. You're finally seeing the light. Something is clear clarity. You're getting, you're gaining clarity. Transformation and awakening, a sense of freedom and liberation and coming out of the cocoon. This is the butterfly card. This is also your card, very much like the death card. The energy of something has ended for something new to begin. Letting go of the heavy, letting go of what tethered you to that branch and made you a little caterpillar. Now you're lighter and you can fly. So definitely letting go of baggage um, change, overcome any obstacles. You, um, this is once again, focus and direction, but basically like feeling that freedom that comes from knowing where in this case, your four feet are being able to bulldoze and find your way through feeling like you can get through anything and accomplish anything and overcome anything. This is that just, it's not even cockiness, it's happiness, it's freedom, it's slow. And this is what I like about this energy. This is Taurus energy. This is certainty. You're not afraid. This could be you basically waking up and deciding you're ready to be in a long-term relationship, that you're finally feeling comfortable with it, that you don't feel afraid or frightened or uncertain anymore of committing yourself into the distance or into the long term, that you are actually in it for the long term now and that you're comfortable with that. And I had said that on the romantic tarot, that it could very well be your fears of not wanting to commit are waning, that that's what's waning or it's the commitment itself that was waning. Whatever it is, you're going to get through this like a pro. You're ready. You're ready to move forward and you're ready to move forward with the certainty and slowness that the slowness that comes with certainty. That's particular strength right there is you're not afraid of what's going to get you or attack you. You're not afraid of missing an opportunity. You're not afraid of missing it. You're not afraid of anything anymore. There's a certainty in you that doesn't mind what comes, what goes. You're not worried. There's a lack of insecurity that is stabilizing and extremely empowering. Nothing is wasted. The energy of vulture centers your reading. Now, what this means for you guys is that you found you 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 found what's important to you, right? You found how to make your life work. You've become the king of it. Nobody can make you feel bad about who you are. Death feeds you. This is more transform transformative energy. Death feeds you. You found a way to make all the ruination work for you. So this is coming to a conclusion. It could be a loss. Somebody you've gone through a great loss, whether it had been a loss of somebody that you love through actual physical death or just through a breakup or um, loss of a job, loss of a home. You're able to deal with loss now 
and pick through it and find those bits that can feed you. You're being fed by what used to be a tragedy to you. Trust in divine detours. Things are going to come. Situations are going to arise, Scorpio, that curveballs. But you know what? Your mind is so relaxed and you're so in the zone, you'll be able to hit even a Mario Rivera curveball. Like you will literally, Mariano Rivera, there it is. You will be able to hit any curveball that's thrown at you. This is Sagittarius energy. This is quick-witted on your feet. In other words, you like throw whatever at me. I, I'm not, you're not expecting, you're not predicting. And especially when it comes to water signs, you're not bogged down by what was. There's no expectations of what was. There's no longer what was. You ate it up. You ate it up and you let it feed you. You're not holding on to the past anymore. You're using it to your advantage. And there's a strength and a beauty in that. It's almost like a confirmation that you've overcome your deepest weakness, which is to get stuck. Get stuck some, sometimes in those same routine patterns and behaviors that can actually basically um, intoxicate you, make you unhealthy. This is being unstuck, being untethered completely and enjoying it. Be playful. Another energy that's playful, just like the dolphin energy. Uh, this is like tiptoeing through the tulips, skipping on the surface, enjoying how it feels to not feel so heavy. Five plus one is six. This is an energy of love. You could be overjoyed in love or you could be in a relationship that's a little more shallow or a little bit like you're not trying to even make like, yeah, okay. You're, you're going one step at a time. You're going one day at a time. And one day at a time could lead to a full-time commitment, but it's like taking one day at a time has lightened this energy, has lessened, has lessened the pressure of making it feel like painful every day. This is an energy of air, so light, lightness and happiness, lightheartedness, um, feeling really good. There is something going on in your life that's making you really joyful and jovial, maybe being out a, a lot, outside a lot, or um, like the winter has let up and the summer is coming. There's an energy of being able to rejoice and celebrate. You might be at a celebration as well. Um, unexpected unexpected joy in a circumstance that maybe even just a year ago you would have would have made you feel completely and totally trapped and then spirit has a plan eight plus five this is destiny your mentality right now is a setup it's a setup that's leading you and guiding you toward another phase in your life something that you don't see yet um there's there a big run-in with fate and destiny is coming to you and coming into your life but right now this is the preparatory period that makes you ready for it that makes you okay with it that makes you untethered to what used to be or what you had or what you expected your expectations gone this is looking out into the future, seeing into the future. This is also divine. Div it's divinely guided. It's divinely set for you, Scorpio. So you're about to run into fate and destiny. You're, you're gearing up. You're being prepared for it. And honestly, you are not going to think about it one bit. After I let this, I, I finish this reading and hopefully you go to the extended. <laughs> I'm sorry, a little, little plug. Um, you're not going to think about it. You want to know why? Because you're letting, here, spirit, you take it. I trust you. We're good. That is, that is feeling so uh, grounded by faith, which is actually liberating you to fly. You're feeling really, really good about life right now. In particular, not feeling so heavy. And you've let, like... I can tell you as a reader, there is something coming for you that I think that you have given up on or that you let go of. And it was in letting go of it that it actually almost the coin hit the water and the ripple effect started. 
it, it was in the not needing it that enabled it to be successful or actually come to be. It was in the not needing it that, that like dropping it, just drop the coin in the water that put the coin in the safest place. <laughs> Crazy, I know, but this is handing over to spirit and spirit taking the wheel. You are being steered toward destiny, my friends. And 100% spirit would not have been able to guide you there without you melting and being more malleable, which is exactly what you are right now, which is the freedom that you're experiencing, the freedom how, of how it feels to be water instead of ice. Wow. You've been tapped. This energy doesn't come out just for anybody. I'll show you what I mean. Know your worth. You do. You don't care what anybody thinks. You don't care what anybody thinks about your stink. This is the energy of somehow, some way, no longer trying to cover up or make yourself into something that is more convenient for somebody else. This is your grounding energy now. The energy of five plus four, nine coming to a head, that breaking out of somebody else's image of you, somebody else's desired image of you and not, and really not just saying you don't care, but emotionally, really you don't care. You don't, you, you, you don't need their approval anymore. Um, take the lead. This is the card that doesn't come out just for any reason for anybody. This means that yes, you've been selected. You've stood out. Spirit doesn't just pick anybody for this position. You, the white stag visits that person who's special singled out for their specialness. And I feel like you are being singled out for your specialness or you are singling somebody else out for their specialness, you're finding the special in somebody else. It could be you being the leader going and finding. If that makes any sense to you, it's like you're going to, you're finding, not looking, but you're finding somebody that you really believe in and it's spirit tapping you and guiding you to this person. Magic works through you. No, when it's in reverse, magic works to you magic is working on you this is this card being divinely guided to a specific place in time and not really and and being willing to take the risk why because you're connected to spirit completely and you don't have the doubts that you used to have there is a certainty and a clarity that doesn't even belong to you but you're allowing yourself to be a conduit to almost bring something into life and demonstrate its beauty that's a lot. Hold on. This is a lot. This is a lot of grounding energy. So what this is telling me is you don't care what comes up. You're certain of yourself and you'll know you're going to get through it. These cards are like this. And whether or not other people believe in you, you've stopped. It's, it stopped mattering. It's, it stopped. It ceased to. I understand that Scorpios always say, I don't care what you think. But the truth is deep down below, you do. But this is deep down below, you don't. Why? Because you have a strong sense of connection to spirit. It's almost like psychically, you know that you don't have to care because you can already see what's coming. And what once people called trash, you're going to, and you saw as treasure, it's like you're seeing it miles ahead of everybody else. This is you making an investment deciding to, I don't know if it's making a financial investment or a social investment or a romantic investment, you're making an investment and you're not scared because you know that it, you're, it's going, you, you know somehow it's going to work out and that the decisions that you make are leading in the right direction. And even if it's crazy and wacky and weird and you don't understand why you're taking this road, you trust it. 
because you're being guided by spirit. You're not being guided by anybody else. And you're so, and that's where your solidness is coming from this week. This energy of completely being connected, being connected to spirit. Hearing them like you're hearing me right now, articulating in your ear with such certainty, you don't, you, you don't, you don't need anything else. This is literally being tapped by spirit. He just doesn't come out to anybody. You're ready for this. You want to know why you're ready for this? Because you've been through it. Because now you finally transformed into the butterfly. You're light and you're on the surface. You came out of the depths. But you've been to the depths, haven't you? Yes, but you finally came out. Which means for you, Scorpio, it's easy to be lost in those. It's easy to stay in those depths. That's actually a safe place for you. It took courage and strength. And it felt like chaos for you to get that sun in your face. Once you face that, you can face anything. Once you've learned to enjoy the sun on your face and the playfulness of life, you can, you, that's the more difficult part for you, is trusting in life. You trust in death. You trust in destruction. You trust in the, that bridge between the two. But to trust in life, to trust in happiness, to trust in joy, that was that missing piece that's connecting you to spirit now. And let me, tell, let me say this, it's almost like now you're bringing that to other people. I don't know if it's on a large scale, a philanthropic scale, or if it's just you bringing it to somebody else in particular. But there is a big fat wad of destiny coming your way and you know it. I'm going to go into the details about exactly what this destiny is over in the extended. And we'll also pull the romance cards as well. I'll see you guys over there.